CEO where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans. Today, I'm going to be talking about the obsession with promoting negative information about Africa. These are lies. The world needs to understand that a negative projection and negative sharing of information about Africa is a business. Those provide an income for many. Yes. And in this year, we had three critical proclamations about Africa that were negative from an international NGO based from the United Kingdom. One said, by 2030, 50% of the world's poorest children will be in Africa. Another, the same organization said, is it 22 of the world richest are richer than every woman in Africa? Another said, Nigeria was the most dangerous country for women to live in Africa. Please, come on. We need to understand. A negative projection about Africa is a business. It funds international NGOs, it funds charity. But this is a lie. And you know what is even more tragic? It deprives the world from accessing one of the most beautiful regions in the world, and that is Africa. I say it unapologetically. The future of the world is Africa, and that future is now. Yes, maybe one or two people benefit from a horrible law projection about Africa, but that is not the reality. But even more so, I think Africans, we need to start challenging it. We need to start challenging it. This is it. When you hear negative projections about Africa, it does, it's intended most of the time to generate aid, to generate charity contribution. And that projects and promotes a negative image. That negative image in itself is used as a risk factor for the economic assessment for Africa. It has a damaging impact. We must start challenging it. Those Africans who work in international, uh, international humanitarian or development organizations must challenge it. We can aid Africa without projecting the negative, without exaggerating hazards in the continent. It's enough. The bad news about Africa, the negative statements about Africa, it's an economy that benefits a very tiny few. But it's at the expense of the hundreds of millions in the continent, and it's no longer acceptable. This is the time for Africa to challenge those things. The future of the world is in Africa, and that future is now. Please join this movement, click like, please subscribe. This is a movement to uplift the continent. Please join us. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.